Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, I don't want you to leave this room if you're sick. If you're sick, you need to come now. You got to come right now. You got to come right now. Come, come, let's come. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring my little I pray, God, God, that you make her every bit whole, from the crown of her head, God, to the sole of her feet. And I ask, Lord, that you do it for your glory and do it for your honor. Yes, absolutely. You need a dose of word. Put in some more word in your soul. Put in some more word in your spirit. Find a little time to put in a little bit more word in your soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Al Alphanet, Akira. I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that if she step out by faith, hallelujah, we can start to heal. Hear what I'm going to say, you can think I'm talking about myself. Your healing is going to come to your ministry. You hear what I say? Your healing is going to come to your ministry. In here, in here, somebody, in here, in here, some, some of you have a few things in here. But your healing is going to come to your ministry. Somebody have it right here. You better come now. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't sit down because God of the way is showing us what's going on in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Kira, listen to me. Put your hands up in heaven and hear what I'm saying. You hear me? Your healing is going to come to your ministry. What did I say? It means that you have to operate your ministry which God has given you and it's going to break the stronghold from Satan from all of you. Your healing is going to come to your ministry. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that you rise up to your ministry and that your healing may come. Not only your healing, but God is going to use you to heal many others. God is going to raise you up to be a healer to this generation. But you cannot put it off until tomorrow. You cannot let how you feel determine what you have to do for the kingdom of God. It's done in Jesus' name. Yeah. I would give out Benny and I would prophesy like that. You would run to the altar. Yeah. I'm going to carry in the name of Jesus the proof that the plague in you, you know, and have this through anymore. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the sickness right now in Jesus' mighty name. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring this America before you. God, you know by name, you know by nature. I pray, God, that you will heal it right now. Of whatever the, whatever the infirmity may be. For you know what our infirmities are. I pray, God, that you will make a hold, that she will know from this moment. She will you to be what you used to do in the church. You never worked nothing in the church before. You never pray in the church before. You used to pray in the church before. You ever lead, you ever sing and raise song in the church before. You used to do that in the church before. You don't know how to do it now, do you? But let me tell you something. Listen to me. You started out on the right track. Now you think I'm smart enough to know that? But God dropped it into my spirit and I ask you, you don't have to say yes. God says he's calling you back. God said you have a fresh anointing to put it for your life. And God said the things that you think is big for you to accomplish. God said he's going to accomplish those things overnight. Then you come back on the saddle and begin to ride for him again. He said he's going to accomplish those things that you think are so new. And he's going to make it very, very small overnight. And you get what God said to Lord. But do what the Lord has said. Amen. Hallelujah. You, what are you crying about today? Huh? Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring Kevin before you. Pray God that you will heal her. We have infirmity that the enemy has placed upon her life. You gotta fight that spirit. That's the spirit. Alright? You gotta fight it. It's a spirit trying to possess you. You're well, but the enemy is trying to make you feel sick. You gotta fight it. 
I'm going to help you right now to fight that disease and that disorder, whatever Satan is putting on you. I'm going to help you to fight it right now. And when God claims you from it, do not let the enemy take over you anymore. Amen? Father, in the name of Jesus, I command this power of your spirit to leave cover. All of us here, all of the us here, every curse, every demonic attachment, I command healing right now. I command deliverance right now. Lord, this child needs to be delivered. Deliver, God said he has something wonderful for you to do. God said he was beginning to even speak to you and show you what he had in store for you. But the enemy tried to take you out of the race before you even get started. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you will set on the right path once again. I bless you right now, God. I praise you right now. In Jesus' name. He said he want to bury everything of the past and give you a fresh start. Do you want a fresh start? That's great. Father, in the name of Jesus, he said he want that fresh start. Start, oh God, by healing this body, healing his soul, healing his mind of every infirmities that the enemy have put on him. That he will have the fresh start. That he will be one that people will wonder and say, My God, my God, if God can heal him, God can heal you. Do it for him now, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. A fresh start. God say a fresh start. Mother Nelly, lift up your hand. Raise up your hand. God is with you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, let health and life come to this body right now. But you, 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 you are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God of joy. Joy, joy. God said he's going to give you joy, Mother Mary. God said you need some more joy. God is going to give you joy. Just find a song and just find songs to sing that you will have your joy. God is going to give you joy, Mother Mary. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. We pray every stronghold, that spirit of discouragement, the depression, we bind it to the pits of hell, call for joy right now, in Jesus' name. Sometimes you need sickness, you know, Mother Nelly, just need some more joy, just need a little bit more joy, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, 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 Why you don't kill nobody? You only die in the other. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring Brother Gabriel before you. Gabriel, do you, do you want to follow Jesus? Do you, do you, do you, what do you think it takes for you to follow Jesus? Hmm? 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 You have to follow him. You have to put away. See, when you're following Jesus, you got to put away some stuff. you got to let go of some stuff. Something is going to hold you back from following Jesus. You're not going to find God if you try to hold on to the world stuff. So you got to make a decision that if you want to follow Him, you got to follow Him with your whole heart, with all your whole soul, and with all your strength. You make a mistake, you always can say, Lord, forgive me, but you cannot practice to make a mistake and think that you can follow him like that. You're not going to ever experience him in his fullness. You, follow, you understand what I'm saying? You're following me. I want you to follow me, but I'm saying you've got to let go of some stuff if you want to experience God in a powerful way. God will use you. God has a great work for you to do, but you have to let go of some stuff. In the name of Jesus, Father, make him every bit whole from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. 
And from this day forward, O oh God, we bind and rebuke that sickness. We curse it to the root. In the Father of our sea and the sea. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I call for healing. I sought the whole soul. Sister Evans, the devil won't kill you. But something so strong that holding you up. Somebody wanted to get you out of the way. But God said not so. You were here today going out of the way before you gone. In the mercy, God said he has something for you to do. And that I'm about to see under, if you stay by the base of the cross, they ain't gonna believe this you, Sister Evans. They're not gonna believe in this you. And so from this day forth, we have made everyone whole. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And I hear God say, your infirmities is that which will keep you. The infirmity is Paul, and when infirmity is in Paul, said, God take away this infirmity. And God did not take it away. God told him, my grace is sufficient for thee. Let the grace of God be sufficient for thee. And the grace of God will keep you. The grace of God will secure you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. But the star, you come through many dangers, for us But the good thing about it, you have accepted that God is born. You accepted that He brought you this far, and you're not going to grumble, and you're not going to play and complain. And the hymn we go. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see this leg, you see this knee. And by the star, we realize that 85 years is young to you. And we know that you can find a cure. We know that you can find a cure. We know that you are the cure. You give us the doctors to even identify the cure. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will fix this situation. Fix it, God, for your glory. God said if you fix it, when you fix it, it ain't for you. God said you fix it, it is not for you. Not for you to dilly dally around and jump around and say, look at me. It's for his glory. It's for his honor. And that he will keep you keep on your knees and in the ceiling, on the arm of the saints and in the ceiling, the church will be your home. Pray! And pray and pray and let us see you. That's what God gives you on the Pray and let us see you. And the Lord is born. Young man, you just come and come. We didn't call him. We don't know how we get here. He came in. You came into this house today. Can I ask you why you came in this house? You need prayers. Ah, what happened to you? you lost of stuff. That means that God, God is, God is saying this way you need to be. Amen. You need a shepherd like God. Do you want God to rule your life? Do you want God to lead your life? We want to turn over a new page from the day forward. We want to give up the stuff that is troubling you. Name one thing that is troubling you right here, Lord. Name one thing. You can tell me secretly. One thing that's troubling you. Don't be afraid. One thing. Mm -hmm. Anger. Anger is not of God. That's a stronghold of the enemy. Anger is one of the work of the flesh. But when you're angry, you can kill someone. You can harm someone. You can beat up someone. You can beat them up. You can do a lot of things when you're angry. You can ask God to relieve you from the spirit of anger. Amen. God, in the name of Jesus, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. I pray right now, God, that you cast your love over this young man right now. I pray, God, that you would cast your love, Jesus, on him right now. I pray that you would break through all of his defenses. I pray, oh God, that you would break him, you would melt him, that you would mold him, that you would feel it, feel him, that he will know that he have a friend in thee, that he will know, like all of us who have come this way, that you will never fail him, never leave him, but you will be his guardian angel. Father God, put your cloak of protection round about him. You need God's cloak of protection. Put your cloak of protection round about him right now in Jesus' mighty name. God, gonna, young man, 
God is going to do something wondrous for you. God is going to give you a family. You're going to have children. God is going to raise you up to be a mighty man of God. Do you want to be a mighty man of God? Come on, you got to look at me when I'm talking. Do you want to be a mighty man of God? Do you want to, when do you want to start to be a mighty man of God? Tomorrow? When? Today. You want to start today? Hallelujah. Give me a microphone there. He said you want to start today. Do you know Jesus Christ is Lord? Huh? You have accepted him as Lord? You want to rededicate your heart to him now? You're not sure. Do you want to rededicate to him now? Let's say, dear Lord Jesus, I have sinned. I have fallen short of your glory. In my words, in my actions, and in my deeds. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my personal sin. I reject Satan. I reject all the unfruitful works of darkness. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me for any involvement that I had with darkness. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for saving my soul, making me every widow. From this day, I accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. Now let me see if you're serious, if you want to do something, you want to start today. I want you to show me, show God that you want to start today. There's the man who turned on the mic, that's why I said you know who turned on the mic. Yeah, no, okay, good, thank you. But well, thank you, Jerry, I don't know, I don't have to put no reason at all, thank you. Hold that mic. I want you to say after me. The Lord. The Lord. Is my shepherd. My shepherd. That's how you can say it. I, I shall not want. Shall not want. I'm living in the dire. I'm living in the dire. And I smoke Micaiah. And I smoke Micaiah. But I believe you, Jesus. I believe you, Jesus. That you can take me up. You, you believe you can convince anyone by talking like that? Huh? Huh? Just shots, light like that. Well, tell somebody there's fire. How are you going to shout fire? Yeah. Fire. Let me hear you again. Fire. Your mother in the room. Fire in the room where your mother is. Fire in the room. The child under the table and the fire. How are you going to shout fire? Fire. Huh? Fire. Hallelujah. But that's how you gotta show for Jesus. You gotta go down when you let's start again. The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. Is my shepherd. I shall. I shall. Not one. Not one. I am Jesus. Hang around and sing it tomorrow.